Dear colleagues, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is an intumescent cataract. In this case, I am going to use Faro's from Oatly, Switzerland. By this time, the main incision has been made and two sideboards have been completed. Now, I want to stain the anterior capsule of this mature cataract with Tripan blue dye and here goes the dye. The dye should touch on all parts of the anterior capsule and I prefer to stain the anterior capsule underneath an air bubble. The dye is washed out. We can see that the pupil has not dilated well. In this case, the size of the pupil is about 4.5 millimeter and I would like to use some pupil expansion device to dilate it little more. And this is B hex pupil expander invented by Dr. Suven Vattacharji of India. And this is introduced with B hex forceps. The device should go completely into the anterior chamber and now the leading flange is tucked underneath the iris. Now I go through the right side port and tuck the flange at 1.30 o'clock. Now I go through the left side port and tuck the flange at 10.30 o'clock. With V-hex forceps, these manipulations are not difficult. And now, capsulorexis is to be done. Some more viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber. Now I take a 26 case bent needle cystitome, go through the right side port and make a cut at the center of the capsule and make it a curved flap. Now I hold this flap with Utrita and make a very small opening. This is a mini rexus. I convert that flap into this mini rexus. And now I use this Simcoe cannula, 223 gauze Simcoe cannula and aspirate some cortical matter to reduce the intralenticular pressure. Yes, if you reduce the intralenticular pressure, it is no longer an intumescent cataract, it is an ordinary cataract. And now you inject viscoelastic substance again, make a cut at around 8 o'clock. It should not be a radial cut, it should be a curved cut cut like this. Now I take a uterator forceps, hold this and then convert this mini rexis into an optimum size rexis. This is going to be a rexis of about 5.5 millimeter in size. Since I have dilated the pupil, everything is becoming very much under vision. And now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece. The machine being used is Faro's from Oatly. And the cataract part is just like Oatly Cataryx 3. Bury the teeth completely into the substance of the nucleus and try to chop. Yes, I have got a good crack. Rotate it again 
go into the substance hold it very firmly and make another job this free nuclear fragment is being emulsified and removed and this is another job Fecal power used in this case is 70%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 mm of mercury. This is the apex of the large fragment. I just made it blunt by emulsifying the apex i am in continuous mode in continuous mode emulsification is faster but we have to take care of the footwork we must go to power only when something is to be emulsified in between a comeback to irrigation and i use continuous irrigation so that i can give some rest to my foot now viscoelastic substance is injected to protect the corneal endothelium and to keep the anterior chamber formed cuz i am going to use a 23 gauze simco cannula yes the cortex is being cleaned we can use bimanual irrigation aspiration or coaxial irrigation aspiration for the same cortical clean up And now I go through the right side port and clean the cortex, subincisional cortex. I use a ten cc glass syringe, and it produces a very smooth cortical clean up. You can see that. the posterior capsule is very clean and now this is 2% aspmc again and now i'm going to implant a foldable intraocular lens in the capsular bag these patients with hypermature cataracts are actually poor this is how the behex device is being explanted being removed and now you can see that there is the people is around and there is no trauma to the sphincter pipli This is the beauty of BHEX people expansion device. BHEX is very much affordable for our country India. Other devices are quite costly. Like Meliugen ring is about 10 times costlier than this device now the side ports are hydrated and then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done 
the antechamber is nicely formed with BSS and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon. Be a compassionate surgeon. Be empathetic to your patients. Develop a very good practice. Serve the mankind with great skills. Thank you very much for your attention.